Halox Rigidus – Surgical Treatment According to Preferences of Grzegorz Jarosławski, Dworska Hospital. Halox Rigidus is characterized by pain and stiffness in the first metatarsal of phalangeal joint. The cause of the pain is a conflict on the dorsal side of the joint, when the upper edge of the proximal phalanx hits the surface of the metatarsal head. The bone conflict results from the bone spurs, osteophytes, limiting the dorsal flexion of the big toe. X-ray images show a joint space narrowing and the presence of osteophytes. The indication for Halux rigidus surgery is severe pain and limitation of joint mobility. One of the surgical treatments is chylectomy. The procedure can be performed in patients with well-preserved cartilage of the metatarsophalangeal joint. Chylectomy allows for restoring range of motion during walking and bending the big toe. Chylectomy, an exemplary course of the procedure. The orthopedist makes the incision on the medial side of the metatarsophalangeal joint and dissects soft tissues to expose the joint capsule. Opening the joint capsule provides direct insight into the metatarsophalangeal joint. It is necessary to remove tissue adhesions resulting from many years of mechanical irritation in this area. The surgeon removes the upper one-third of the metatarsal head and the accompanying osteophytes that restrict joint mobility. Bone remains are removed and the upper edge of the metatarsal bone is ground. The range of motion is checked to obtain the optimal effect. The joint is copiously flushed with saline to remove all small bony debris. At the end, the joint capsule and skin are closed. The metatarsophalangeal joint can be dorsiflexed satisfactorily. Additional procedures performed after chylectomy. In some cases, a shortening first metatarsal osteotomy may be necessary to relieve joint pressure. This can be achieved by performing a modified chevron osteotomy with the upper arm excision. The osteotomy is stabilized with a Herbert screw. We can see the improvement in the range of motion in the metatarsophalangeal joint. Another example of an additional procedure is the Moberg osteotomy, which involves performing a wedge osteotomy of the proximal phalanx. The goal of the Moberg osteotomy is to increase the available range of dorsiflexion. Surgical treatment for several hallux rigidus. When the osteoarthritis reaches an advanced stage, there is essentially no cartilage left. X-rays show almost complete joint space narrowing. This refers to bone-on-bone -bone contact. Advanced osteophyte formation is visible on the dorsal side of the joint. Arthrodesis is considered the most effective treatment for advanced cases of hallux rigidus. The surgeon removes osteophytes and damaged articular surfaces. Then the metatarsal bone and the proximal phalanx are joined. To achieve stable bone union, it's necessary to use a compression plate stabilized with screws. After arthrodesis, you cannot move a big toe at the metatarsophalangeal joint. Another method of treating several hallux rigidus is joint replacement with implant substituting joint function. The endoprosthesis components are movable relative to each other, which allows you to bend and straighten the big toe. If you have any questions regarding Halux Rigidus surgery, do not hesitate to contact us. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with the new services available at our hospital.